not the time to pat yourself on the back. There's something about a well-hit shot. In the fairway here at the 10th, nice way to start off the back nine. Frank, getting set for this approach shot, our featured golfer is a player, it's obvious, in full flight right now. It is. This is where, it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example for it, though, where when you play your best, it's almost like you're just playing out of your subconscious. Everything happens, it just flows, and you don't really think about it. That moves them to eight under par, two straight birdies. Moving on to the 11th hole, Frank Water all along the left side, 472 yards. How do you handle this one? Well, this one's weird because the tees are a little off center. They start down the right side, which makes it into a dog leg. And uh, you mentioned the water, it always comes into play. Zero fairway bunkers, you don't need them here at 11, because really it's all about the tee shot. Find the fairway, then uh, even though it's a long par four, you should be able to at least attack that green safely. Miss the fairway to the right, which is the barrel outside, and your problems are just starting. Well, oh, talk about uh, taking the head cover off and let it fly. That's beyond long. Goodness, did he get all of that one. Wow. Wow, what a shot. What are the chances of making it from there? 12th hole now, looking at 192 yards, par three. Won't quite play that distance because that tee shot uh, is, is considerably downhill. But you really have to be cognizant of the wind if it's coming off the left because it easily brings that water into play down the right should that tee shot just start moving with the wind. Oh my goodness, Frank. I think that baby went in. Right about 200 yards to the flagstick from the tee here. 